We're excited to be introducing the first 19-foot scissor lift from Hybrid Lifts. It's a it's a uh, yeah. the largest unit, largest category of scissor lifts in the marketplace. And when we looked at entering the space, because Hybrid Lifts has always been known for 14-foot machines or 10-foot machines. We started to look at entering this space. We talked to customers and we said, what is important that if hybrid lifts were to enter the space, what do you looking for that would make it unique? So we took a much different approach and we leveraged what was coming out with the new ANSI 9220 standards and said, how do we make this and work it to our advantage to provide customers something that they're really looking for and need? So a couple of things. So first of all, the overall size of the unit, the envelope of this unit, 30 inches wide, 63 inches long, enables this unit and weighs less than 2,000 pounds. It's the only 19-foot scissor lift in the marketplace that weighs less than 2,000 pounds, can fit onto a standard elevator. And one of the other parts which makes it part about hybrid is we've always had kind of a concave base that allows our scissor stack to sit really low with the new ANSI 9220 rail package, our unit is the only 19-foot scissor lift that weighs less than 2,000 pounds that can fit under a standard doorway without fold-down rails. So the fold-down rails is something that's going to be, I'll say, commonplace for most of the manufacturers there. And it makes it a little inconvenient for the operators who are going around a job site that each time they get off the machine that they need to drop the rails and then bring the rails back up. We didn't want that when we took this approach. A lot of other things that we did when we introduced the, the new 19-foot machine is we took a look at and said, what are, what are some of the things that are uniquely hybrid? Again, we talked about lightweight, really low wheel load pressure. So we wanted to reduce the wheel load pressure even more this year. And so we made a pretty dramatic change for what people are used to seeing is we went to a much larger, wider wheel and a little softer, what's called durometer wheel. So it's a four inch by 12 inch wheel that now reduces the wheel load pressure for us, which is what the engineers that are working on large jobs where you got multiple units on a job site, they want to have that flexibility. So you'll be able to get more of these 19 foot scissor lifts onto a job site than a lot of the competitors out there whose machines weigh 3,000, 3,200 pounds. <clears throat> um, as we stated before, all of our units come standard as leak guard ready. So a customer who buys a unit has the ability to add an accessory, what we refer, what we refer to as leak guard. And this leak guard is a tray that comes with pads that would reduce or capture any uh, sort of oil that may leak from the machine. Again, our machines only have a hydraulic pump and um, reservoir just to support the raising and lower of the unit. But that is another opportunity, a great opportunity for rental companies to drive additional income. <clears throat> All of our units have come with two 12 volt batteries, 24 volt system, but simple auto batteries and maintenance free machines. The only maintenance that has to be done is verifying and checking the oil in the units. <clears throat> the operator station, a couple changes that have happened up here. Again, with the new ANSI 9220 standards, we've gone to the new height of the rails. Again, no fold down rails required. But we also put what we refer to as an easy glide system. So again, I'm not left-handed, but here operating at floor level, I can move this unit and the extension out without a lot of effort. I don't have to have a foot down and try with two arms to push the unit. We've also gone into a new uh, intelligent control system. The intelligent control system has been really a great feature for us. So first of all, it will give the operator a lot more information. And with the new ANSI standards, things like overload. So our units, this unit has 650 pounds of lift capacity, where most 19-foot machines in the marketplace have 500 pounds of lift capacity. So a lot more lift capacity. But if it gets into an overload, where somebody has put in more weight than, you can, than the unit can lift, the unit will stay at height, or it won't raise to full height. So what we can do with ours is it has a feature here with the information button. They press, and it would tell them L for load, and what percent they are to the max load. So if I go over, I'll know I'm over and I can start to reduce. Or if I bring material on here and tools on here and myself, I'll know I'm at 50 or 60 or 70% of lift capacity and I can operate my day and understand what's going on. Another unique thing that we did for the first time for hybrid lifts is our units have always been rated for indoor use, not rated for outdoor use. Under the new 9220 standards, 
if you're operating in a building that has no walls because they're doing a major renovation or building a new building, it's technically outdoors. So now all of our units come standard with two modes where I, all the Mac default is I'm in indoor mode. So the indoor 1930, 19-foot 19 machine will go to 19-foot, 25-foot work height. If I go to the outdoor mode, it's now at 11 foot is where it's gonna stop the unit in height, the 17, work, 17 foot work height. Familiarization, which is part of ANSI 9220, it's really imperative that we train our customers and teach them about that and understand what's going on here. Other than that, it's a really simple system um, for this. And again, with the arm guard or hand guard, it also makes it a little easier. So if customers are walking the unit onto a trailer, it enables them to back up walk the unit onto a trailer safely because of that feature. <clears throat> Couple other unique little features. Again, we talked about no folding rails. With the new standards, one of the things that's required is to go to a full door. What we looked in the marketplace, nothing smaller than say a marble can exit the unit, can roll through. So now you have everybody has gone to a full size door or in some instances they put a piece of metal across the base to make sure nothing rolls out. We didn't want a trip hazard with our units so we designed ours where it's a real tight fit when it's in its closed position but if I have material in here the door opens up and it cantilevers raises up over top of the material so here I cannot get my hand in it here and here you can put your full you know almost a one inch so if you've got material so again for the rental company who's renting these machines I know customers when they get off they're going to be pulling the machine and you know potentially damaging the doors this reduces that risk of damaging those doors for the units and again another great feature <laughs> the other thing we've done is we've added really simple ports for our charging and for our power to platform. So power to platform is standard on all hybrid lift units. So the customer can charge and add power and they'll have power up to the operator station so they can run up to two tools. We've also made the charging really simple and it's embedded into the unit with a cap to protect it. And of course your E-down, which is a requirement safety feature here. <coughs> One last thing I want to take you to is to show you a little bit about the new lower controls. So a nuisance for operators when they're operating machines has been upper controls. I turn the key to upper control or I turn it to lower control. Lower control, I can raise the unit down here at the floor. But what happened in the past is I might turn to lower control. I get up in the unit. I forgot that I was in upper control and I had to get back down and turn the key. Now the operator has to hold the key to operate the unit down and when they release it, it automatically goes back into the upper mode control. So really enabling them to make sure that their people are safe, they're getting back up there and they're keeping their time efficient. A couple last things for you, as all of our units come standard with a tool holder and a tool tray, it's just a really nice convenience package for customers. We've all seen customers up there where they've got bags or anything else up here that's displayed. And we just wanted to make it really simple and integrated part of the machine.